Hey guys, welcome. Uh, this is what we're doing today. We're gonna do a, a comparison of both of these. They're both Korean, they're both uh, tone up uh, sunscreen, they're both 50 plus um, SPF, uh, plus, uh, PA plus 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 plus. So, Rovecting and Nambuzin. We're gonna try them on and see how it goes. I'm gonna start with uh, the number three Nambuzin and I'll do it on this side. Um, as with sunscreen, you're supposed to use um, a one teaspoon for your face and neck. I think I might have put a little too much. Yeah, <sighs> okay. Let's take a little off, maybe. probably get a mirror so as you can see it's it starts light like really whitish and then even though it looks beige and it, it says it is beige and then uh, you just blend it I'm gonna go underneath my jawline and chin here a bit not too much but just enough And then I'm also going to do uh, this one on this side. I'll, um, it's easier to do it when you have both hands. You go like this. I should have done that from the beginning. But it's much lighter in comparison, feel-wise. So uh, this one, the Rovecting. Um, and it seems like it's not as a uh, tone up as the other, or at least this one has more of like a yellow undertone, and then this one more like a like a pinkish undertone. They're just easier to do it when it's this way. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give them the 10 minutes, and then I'll come back to see how it goes. But before I go, get you have a little look. They're both quite shiny as of now. Um, they look a little tricky for my hand. Um, no peeling. There's no peeling with any of them. But uh, I will definitely come back and uh, I'll show you what, um, what everything looks like. Quick swatch of the Rovectin and Nambuzin. So. Uh, pink, Rovectin is pink, like peachy almost actually, more peachy than anything. And then the uh, Nambuzin is um, beige, kind of yellow based actually. So this is what it looks like, swatched. And then this one here, I think I put a little more of the Nambuzin, uh, of the um, Rovectin. So those are both of them. They're both... Um, Quite matte when they dry. The um, Rovectin is even more matte than this one, but I prefer the Rovectin way of feeling on the skin actually. So I'm gonna give them a few minutes and then um, I'll come back to so that you can actually see. Uh, I'm just actually gonna see here. I'm just gonna pretty much um, <laughs> wait and just speed it out. Five minutes swatch is up. Um, I'm gonna hopefully. All right, there we go. Um, hopefully you can see the difference. I kind of drag the line up in the middle. Um, this is the Nambuzin and this is the Rovectin. Much more yellow, much more peachy. From my swatch, almost seems like this one covers more, but this one is what I like on my skin. Um, it they feel really um, dry to the touch, both of them. So they're both quite matte, but this one has like a reflective um, shine. Did you see that shine? 
more than the Robectin. So anyways, here you have it. 10 minutes later, and this is what we're left with or come up with. So um, they're both still shiny, though they don't look as shiny in person as it is, as it translates in there. You can see this one is more my skin color. This one is like lighter. Um, so this one being Rovectin and um, Nambuzin. Okay, so besides the fact that it's on my lip, let's see. Um, hmm. This one clung to my dry spots on my nose more than this one, like much more showing here than it is here. And even though this is more my skin color, it seems like this one did better job at um, toning as far as like pimples go than this one here. It seems like uh, because maybe because it's like a pink here, maybe it just um, fights the discoloration better, I would think. I think that's maybe why. Um, what else? This is definitely much shinier. You see the cheeks? The cheeks really show um, shininess in here. They both settled, but m this one more. I did not touch it since. So this one is... Um, Settling more in the, in the crevices. Let's see the eyes. So the eyes, I'm gonna come close. Um, hope you can see this, but um, this one doesn't look as um, as settling in the lines as this one is. Oh yeah, there too. You can tell there. There we go. You can really see that big deep line over there. Yep. And then um, you can tell. Can you see when I'm doing these? It's really settling in there. Gosh, I really hope that. This quality is <laughs> it's as it should be to kind of see, be able to see. Um, as far as uh, covering up the dark circles, almost this one looks like it's less dark than this one. But um, I, even though this one is less, I kind of like this look better because it's more matte and less creases, much less creases. Okay, and the eyes, they both settled, but this one settled more. Oh wow, that's, that's a lot of settlement on both of them, but this one especially. See that? Fixed. Now with this, sometimes I do put stuff on, sometimes I don't. Like last time when I tried this one, when I said, uh, showed it, I did put um, like foundation on. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe just set it. Let's see the set one. Okay, so eyebrows. Like last time when I uh, went and did the review on this one, it set, had settled in my eyebrows and it did the same. You see that? There's like a lot of lightness. Let me see if I can move the hairs. You can see to where this one is really not. Like, not much. It's just a normal settlement because I do put it in. Um, I definitely want to protect that side too, but um, you definitely have to go in and kind of, kind of scrape that stuff off. All right, um, what else? Let me look. That's about it as far as um, differences. Now, they're both uh, similar as in tone up, uh, but I do prefer this side better than this side. Um, like I said, it's definitely showing less um, dry skin. And I like that because I always have problems with that. Now, I just saw this, I looked up um, forehead wise or temples, hairline. Uh, this one settled more in here. You can see some um, like little whites, like in the hairline around, and then not much here. Like not much, not much. Um, it also feels more greasy. Oh yeah. This one glides. 
this one kind of not, this one stops. Yeah, yeah, this one is more matte, feel wise too, not just look. I just got myself nice and red. <laughs> yeah. This one definitely comes off more than this one because this one is more matte. So it kind of stuck to the skin really good. And this one, um, you can see there where I just kind of went like this. Definitely looks like I took some off. So let's just fix that. Everything else seems like it is kind of the same um, as far as everything else goes. Uh, for some reason, this eye all this week seemed like it was darker than this one. It could be the product or it could just be my eye. But I definitely like this look better. It's more matte. Um, and um, it just feels like it's stuck to it. So now let's do this one. You see the stickiness? Mm. A little bit here. And of course my eyelashes, but nothing here. Let's do it again. Little bit here, more here. Okay, um, so this one is more oily. Um, it is more uh, shiny as well. This is more matte, it's stuck to the skin much better. But um, yeah, we'll see how it wears in about three hours. I might just not put anything on just to see how it how it does. You know what, let's just, we'll do a day with just the sunscreen. So three hours in, I'll come back and we'll see. We'll probably reapply the um, SPF then since um, I will need to reapply if I'm going out. So I'll, uh, I'll come back in three hours, three to four, and then I'll show you how it actually looks. So but right now, um, this is my favorite. Right now, one for him, zero for him. Uh, okay, I'll be back. It's been uh, just a tiny bit over three hours since I've had these um, lovely tone up sunscreens on. Um, this on this side, this on this side, and let's um, assess. Um, looking in the mirror um, just throughout the day, in these three hours, I definitely like this side better than this side. Um, from uh, my reviews on each one of them, I, you could tell that I actually liked the Revecting much better than this one. The other one was like really let down. Um, now, um, I did not powder. I did not put no SPF. I didn't put, I'm sorry, I didn't put no powder, no foundation, no um, anything on it. So it's just the product itself. Um, it's definitely set quite a bit. You can see my redness. Um, so also my pimple um, marks, the leftovers also here as well. So everything is how it was in the morning, except um, I can tell that my redness is poking even more through. Um, it's definitely a little chalky around here, around my um, temple and um, um, like hairline, more on this side than it is. I, I really don't really see much on here. I can see it just a tiny bit like little dots over here, like little polka dots. Um, but it's definitely much more around here. So let's cover that up. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely like how this one looks. I'm curious, which one do you guys like? Let me, um, let me do it fair like that here off. Which ones do you guys like or think it's best matching? I think this one looks much better. This one is definitely more like yellow based. Uh, which they they say it's um, beige. So yeah, I, I would have to agree with that. But I like this one better. Like it seems like it does better. Now, as far as the dryness goes, uh, this one was more set, more dry feeling. This one wasn't so much, but you can tell that it really, um, it's more collected on this side and it shows the dry um, dryness much more. Now, last night I definitely went around and I, I did a little bit of a, 
scrub, not with a physical scrub, but with the, one of those, kind of like the Foreo, but it's not a Foreo. It's not, but it's the same concept with the vibration and all that, the silicone bristles. So I went ahead and I did that, um, hoping to kind of get rid of this. And I also did the mask, but um, yeah. So it did take care of some of my um, dryness, like a lot of it, but you can even, you can still tell that whatever is up here, it's still, oh, sorry. I'm moving, I'm hitting the table, but it's definitely catching more on this side than it is on this side. And that was my problem with the Nambuzin is that every little part of, of my face that had um, like flakes, it, it emphasizes it so much more and it just looks so much worse than it actually is. Um, to where this one does not, this one just kind of um, seals it in and it's it's even more matte than this one which I thought this one was quite matte so let's see now they, they kind of feel the same um, let me take um, one of these um, blotting papers and actually I'll take two just to compare Any difference there? I could say this one has more than this one, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Does it focus? Can you focus? Okay. And let's go like that. <laughs> okay. And then I'll turn them around and do the nose. Well, that's interesting. Interesting way of testing things, huh? Okay, let's see now. Focus. Yeah, this one seems to be um, more than this one is. Just focus there, please. Yeah, so um, this one is more greasy. Uh, not too much more though. I mean, it's it doesn't really feel greasy. It's like a dry, it's like a dry product. Um, it, it definitely dries on really good. So you don't really need um, the uh, powder, you know, to set it, the setting powder. But I'm gonna go outside now. So I'm gonna actually reapply my SPF. I'm gonna use these um, Suntegrity. It is a pressed mineral powder, broad spectrum SPF 50. And it's got the uh, zinc oxide in 25%, which is like a lot. That's a big percentage. I'm gonna actually use their puff. Um, I usually keep this one in my, um, it looks like this. It's actually, I'll do a swatch for you. There, there. Um, let's see. You can really can't see much because it's really not a uh, very, colorful at all not at all actually like it, it went off so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this puff um, and uh, I need a mirror oh, this one has one so yeah I usually keep this one <laughs> that's a lot of powder now don't do that let's just disperse it and go back to it <laughs> okay that's the only uh, bad thing about this um, sponge is that it, it does pick up a lot, but you can also kind of disperse it too, so not too much. Now, this side versus this side. You definitely see it more on this side. I'm gonna try to like blend it more. Yeah, so this one is what I actually keep in my purse because it has a mirror and has a, a little um, included um, sponge there. And even though it's not perfect, it's definitely better than and easier to carry around than it would be to take a brush and take a, um, another SPF. Now, there are other types of like the... Um, like the tubes with the brush attached and you just tap it off and then you go around. That's actually easy too, though those ones sometimes you can get a lot and sometimes you can get very little um, but that's definitely doable it's definitely better than not to do anything I forgot to show you the eyes I guess it didn't settle anymore after I fixed it in the morning I remember when I just went like that yeah it's definitely um, fixed there 
and definitely do not forget your under eyes your top of the eyes the sides i said that i'm getting some like um little you see that like marks and man i'm so diligent with sunscreen and i just don't understand it i'm so diligent with it but i have to be even more diligent now that summer's coming All right, I'm gonna use something else for my neck. Definitely don't wanna go with this one. Um, yeah, so let's see. Now with the sunscreen uh, powder on, let me get my mamero. It definitely made it like lighter, uh, even though it didn't seem as light in the, um, in the swatch, definitely made it lighter now. It gave me some coverage, just a tiny bit but you can still see my redness. It's like a triangle, like a skirt, a triangle. But sometimes we just go like this throughout the day and it's okay. It's okay not to have makeup on. It's okay to love makeup, but it's also okay not to put it on, you know? You don't have to always have makeup on and you don't always have to feel like if you don't have makeup, then you don't feel right. Put your SPF on. That's like non-negotiable. Put it on it doesn't matter what you're doing unless you're staying inside the house i really don't see the need for that um, i know some people recommend it still doing it because of the habit forming and also because uh, if you're by the window like i am now um it would definitely help you know because the sun does come through the window but uh, if you are not really uh, and you're like quite away from it i i don't know you know, there's some days where it's raining outside and you just want to relax and you just want to put on a movie, eat some popcorn, drink something. Uh, but those are the days that, like, nothing. But for sure, feel comfortable in your own skin. Um, I'm going to go about my day. I'm going to go out in the garden and kind of clean up that stuff over there and see how the plants are doing. And then um, I will come back maybe at the end of the day to actually show you maybe earlier than that. Um, since I had a very early start today, which I'm glad about, um, yay, but, um, I'll come back later and I'll show you how it actually wore with the uh, powder SPF on and all that. So as of right now, this one is definitely the winner. Um, this one, not so much. It's not bad guys. It's not bad. If you have normal skin, even if you have dry skin or oily skin, cause my nose is oily. Um, you don't need to powder because it sets pretty good uh, but it will show your flakes now this one on the other side doesn't really show your flakes and i love that because i've been having a lot of flakes lately and my, my skin is just so um so angry with me I, and i think i know why i'm pretty sure i know i just have kind of pushed it pushed it pushed it but um i might just have to stop that product but um yeah um right now as a winner focus yeah. is a winner um this one is a winner it's definitely um something that i really reach for this is not my first one this is my second one um i've used it last year i'm using it this year i just opened this one you can see mark your spfs guys mark your um not just the spfs not just the SPFs, this one too, it's marked up there, uh, when you start it, because that way you know when it expires. And it, there's no point on putting SPF on if it's going to be expired. It's not going to do anything. So mark your SPFs, mark your um, cosmetics, mark your makeup, mark everything. That way you know when you start it and if it's expired. But anyways, I'm going to let you go. Bye. It is past 8 o'clock. It's been a lot of hours. I'll have to do the count. I believe it's like 11 or 12. But anyways, I'll put the count in there. Um, this is how the uh, uh, tinted, um, well, the tone up uh, sunscreens work. Um, they're pretty worn out on the nose, both of them. Um, I hope you can see this good, but it's quite oily on the nose uh, and it's worn off even more, um, especially in the chin area and uh, the T-zone where I actually am um, very oily. Um, the cheeks are actually not bad. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're not bad, but it definitely, it, it's like a, like a faded, uh, look 
not that I needed any more than that, but um, the powder obviously went off. It's quite oily, but um, I didn't really do um, anything. So I didn't need it to go out or anything to kind of retouch or anything. Otherwise I would have come back. Um, I did go outside and uh, it kind of started to rain. So the humidity plus a little bit of droplets that I got uh, might have caused these little um, oiliness. I don't know, but I'll come close up like this. My, I don't think it really settled. Yeah, it did actually. Yeah, see this one more than this one. And then under the eyes, pretty much the same, I would say. Yep. Settlement, as per usual. And then, um, that. But, final thoughts. All in all, I think that uh, they both look good, uh, depending on what you want. But as, to, as far as top, this is my, my top. This is the one I like the most. Um, it, it fits the most with the skin. It does the, be the best for me for flaky skin and for my tone, even though this one is more yellow based, which is what I actually prefer on my um, skin. But yeah, this one did much better, performed much better, stayed much better, much longer. Uh, it was more matte, but it didn't feel matte as in drying to the skin so it looked uh, more matte which is actually what i like and it because of that it kind of held better onto the skin so yeah uh, I hope this actually helped you um, see which one you like best because these both are like really raved and these both are like from good uh, brands so you know uh, now at least you know <laughs> and you can make an informed decision whether you're interested in or not now I could I get out of the house like this, no problem. And this one too. Um, I do have like pimples and such that I would like to conceal if possible, but you know, at the end of the day, I really am not that keen on it. If it is, it is, if it's not, it's not, you know, it's just skin, it's just what it is. But if I do wanna be put together, I do, I will go um, on top with something. Um, with that being said, uh, you guys take your pick. Now you know, now you've seen the results. So let me know which one you're picking up if you're interested in getting a one that is um, tone up. If not, let me know that too. You're like, I'm not interested in tone ups and that's fine too. But I actually like tone ups because um, it gives you a little bit of something, uh, just a little color, kind of like the, the tinted ones. I like it because then you don't feel like you have to put something on or not that you have to, but you know, if you really have things that you want to kind of blur out and such. But anyways, long uh, story short, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate you spending time with me. And if you're interested in anything, let me know down below and maybe I'll try to get it as quickly as I can. But anyways, guys, you guys take care. I will see you next time. Bye.